Edmonds is trying to pull, put the full weight uh, of its marketing efforts and uh, all of our digital and uh, PR activities behind making uh, price promise something that's important to the average American consumer. A couple of examples of that is we had our first national TV campaign uh, that ran strongly uh, during the first quarter. It was largely centered on national sports events, uh, particularly uh, on the NBA and also uh, on a college basketball. We also did a, a good deal in uh, late night as well. So uh, we, we went strong in the first quarter. Uh, we're now kind of studying the results of that and plan to be uh, back in the market uh, you know, very soon um, with an even larger campaign. So that uh, is on the first front. With respect to the Price Promise takeover events, we've now had four of them in different locales around the country. Uh, the concept is, is that we partner with a dealership who and the dealership promises for a given weekend or period of time to price 100% of their vehicles at the Edmunds price promise uh, price. They put the tags in the vehicles, there's branding on the stores. The concept of those events is to partner with the dealership to promote uh, price promise as an idea in the store. And what we've typically seen is a 20% lift in uh, floor traffic and a 20% lift in uh, people seeking out uh, price promise certificates and quotes uh, through the Edmund service for that store. What we'd like to do in the future is do even broader car weeks so that we could bring uh, the full weight of our media and PR to bear on uh, major cities like in New York and LA and uh, more broadly promote uh, the takeover concept. And uh, so you should see concepts like Car Week coming uh, to your area, particularly for New York and Los Angeles dealers uh, sometime later in the second quarter towards uh, the May-June timeframe.